You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. I'd like to introduce myself first and foremost. My name is Pastor Ben Dinglas and one of the pastors of Destiny Church. And in behalf of our senior pastors, Pastor Carlo and Pastor Rachelin, I would like to welcome everyone no, dito po sa ating 1pm Sunday service. Come on, give hands for yourselves. Yan. Sige, um, pwede mo mong tingnan yung katabi mo, uh, mag-high ka sa kanya, tapikin mo, sabi mo, welcome to Destiny. Yan, no? welcome po sa Destiny Church. And uh, meron bang naririto for the very first time, kaway ka sa akin? First time mo ngayon, second time mo ngayon, nag-join ka? Meron ba dyan? Sorry, hindi ko po nakikita. Right? And uh, oh, by the way, meron po pala din tayo sa Facebook and sa YouTube. And kung kayo po ay naka-tune in sa amin ngayon, no, welcome din po sa sa inyo na naandyan sa online. Kaway-kaway po sa bawat isa. And if you happen to uh, tune in or napadaan po kayo sa channels namin, um, and first time nyo po ngayon, I would like you to type in there, F-I-R-S-T first. Uh, para po ma-welcome din po kayo ng mga leaders namin at saka ma-engage din namin kayo. Alright, so... Anyhow, probably you're, you'll be asking, uh, Pastor Ben, bakit ba destiny yung pangalan ng church? Matagal na po namin nakakasama or first time mo nakajoin ngayon. Right now, I would like you to understand and you would like you to know that we really believe in that word. Kaya naniniwala po kami sa salitang destiny. Sabi mo nga, destiny. Alright? We believe that you being here is not an accident. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Yeah, no? Hindi po aksidente that you are with that person right here, right now. And I believe no, the, the Lord um, orchestrated things in your life nang sa ganun ay naririto ka ngayong hapon at madidinig mo ang mensahe ng Panginoon para sa'yo. I believe the Lord would like to tell something to you. I believe the Lord would like to minister unto you and to uh, give you a message that will change your life moving forward. Alright, no? And um, I would like to read a passage no, sa Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. NIV says, sabi dito, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Apaganda nung mensahe nung, nung, nung passage. No, that it, it says there that the Lord has a wonderful plan for you. That has a future in store for you. Kaya alam po, alam nyo, uh, hindi ko alam kung, kung makaka-relate kayo. Pag binababanggit yung salitang destiny, makikita mo tong passage na to para mapapatanong ka din eh, no? na parang, Lord, talaga bang may maganda kang plano para sa akin? Sa kabila ng lahat ng mga nangyari po sa akin, mistakes, failures, challenges, trials, struggles that you have there, sa mga nagtatrabaho, sa may business, sa mga nag-aaral, um, there, there, there are challenges. And a lot, uh, uh, sa, 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 sa kalagitnaan ng lahat ng mga pagsubok na yon. Minsan matatanong mo, Lord, talaga bang may magandang patutunguhan ng bagay na ito? And right now, I would like you to understand this. Sa kabila ng lahat ng struggles, challenges, mistakes, failures that you have, I would like you to know that you are not a mistake. You are not a failure and God has a wonderful plan for you, has a destiny in store for you. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you have a destiny. Ah, yung iba, parang iba yung sinasabi. I am your destiny. Aba? umiisa ka. Uh. So, anyhow, no? may napakaganda pong plano ang Panginoon sa inyo ngayon at may mensahe po ang Panginoon sa inyo ngayong hapon. Let's pray. Let's welcome more of the presence of God in our midst. Father, right now, dalangin po namin ang iyong presensya sa aming kalagitnaan. I pray, Lord God, that you uh, you cause us to understand the message that you have for us this afternoon, Lord God. And even pray, Lord God, for your grace to overflow in our midst, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, Uh, for your, uh, for, so that we will be enabled, Lord God, to understand the message, Panginoon. And I pray, Lord God, that the message that will be planted into our hearts will bear fruit, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And Father, right now, I pray, Lord God, that you minister to your people, speak unto them, Lord God, give them a prophetic message, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And Father, uh, maraming marami pong salamat sa oras na ito, maraming pong salamat sa opportunity to hear your word, and uh, we bring back all the praises and all the glory to your great and wonderful name, Jesus. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, Destiny. Let's say amen to that. Amen. Amen. All right. So, uh, last week, uh, Pastor Rich uh, was with us. No, tama ba? Amazing yung message ng, ng Panginoon uh, last Sunday through Pastor Rich. Amen? Uh, that we are serving the God of the impossible. No? And, um, So, as you know, no, tayo po ay nasa series din ng uh, The Call series. 
Okay, kaya lang po, dahil si Pastor Rich po joined us last time, uh, napakaganda po nung break na yon no? And I believe, no, nag, nag, nagtatagni-tagni at nag, uh, dito, nagko-connect-connect yung, yung preaching ni Pastor Rich and even the call series that we had. And I believe, no, sa hapon na ito, the Lord will minister more unto us having that understanding that yes, there is the God of the impossible and we are serving the God of the impossible. Okay? Ngayon pong hapon, pagpapatuloy po natin yung series ng, ng The Call series at tayo po ay dadako sa topic ngayon ng The Call to Serve. Sabi mo nga, The Call to Serve. Alright, so every one of us, we are called, uh, tinawag po ang bawat siya. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are called. Okay, sa kabila, giniginaw ka na ba? <laughs> Iba pala yung ibig ko sabihin eh, no? <laughs> Ibang called pala yon. No, we are all uh, called by God, no? And, uh, Uh, the, the, uh, nung una, nung, nung, nung first part, no, Pastor Carlo uh, and uh, yung mga pa, uh, pastors natin shared about the call uh, to salvation. No? Tapos after that, we talk about the call to worship and today, we will be talking about the call to serve. Okay? May pasahin lang akong passage sa, sa 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. No? Sabi ng NLT, But you are not like that. For you are a chosen people, you are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God for He called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Okay? Mag-post lang tayo ng, ng, ng sandali doon. No, sabi dito, ang Panginoon daw ay tinawag ka mula sa kadiliman patungo sa liwanag. Right? And that is an amazing thing there, no? Uh, pag nasa dilim ka, wala kang magagawa, mangangapa ka, hindi ka sigurado sa bawat kilos mo, no? But we, if you are in the light, you know what to do, you know where to go. Okay? And sabi dito, the Lord has called you from darkness into His wonderful light. And that is a calling right there. Okay? Sabi sa verse 10, Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you receive no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. And true enough, no, tayo daw po ay tinawag ng Panginoon uh, to, uh, for, for, uh, for salvation, to worship Him, and right now we will be talking about the call to serve. And when we talk about yung, ano, yung word na serve, uh, anong unang bagay na pumapasok sa isip nyo? Sa akin kasi, nung pag, pinag, pag nadinig ko yung unang dinig ko ng serve, ang nad, naisip ko kagad, dalawang bagay, badminton at volleyball. Hindi <laughs> ko alam sa inyo, pero yun bilang naisip ko. Serve. Alright? Pero pagka tinignan natin ng mas malalim po at tinignan natin tong, itong context ng pag-uusapan natin ngayon, uh, yung word na serve sa Tagalog, maglingkod. Sa mga maglingkod. Yan, maglingkod. No? Ang isa po sa mga salita pa na may, maaaring po nating tingnan din sa Tagalog ay yung salitang magsilbi or pagsisilbi. Yan, okay, pagsisilbi. So meaning to say, uh, pag tinignan nyo din sa dictionary yung salitang uh, serve, makikita nyo, makikita nyo din doon, to be of use. May gamit. Alright, so may gamit daw. So kaya pala, pag tinignan mo yung pagsisilbi o yung salitang silbi, ang salitang ugat doon ay silbi. Ha? No? Naalala nyo pa yung salitang ugat, no? Yung root word niya. So may, na, may mga tao ba dito na sabihan na kayo nung bata kayo, wala kang silbi! <laughs> Okay. Ibig sabihin, wala kang kagamit-gamit. You are of no use. Sabi nga dun sa, ano, sa mga pelikula nung araw, no? inubos ko na lahat ng tauhan mo. Walang silbi ang mga tauhan mo. Walang narama. <laughs> Ganun, di ba? So, harang, walang silbi yung mga tauhan na ubos ng lahat. No, di ba? Tapos sumagot naman yung isa, hindi ko gusto, ang tabas ang dila mo, bata. <laughs> <laughs> Parang pag-uusap ni EPJ at saka ni Romy Diaz yun. No? So, anyhow, so, uh, when we talk about serve, you're talking about being of use. Alright? And, uh, and, and paglilingkod siya. And isa po sa mga maaari nating associate, pag sinabing nagsaserve ka, ibig sabihin, meron kang master. Okay, meron kang sinusundan, meron kang kumbaga parang authority na tinitingala. Naglilingkod ka, nagsisilbi ka, at meron kang pinagsisilbihan. So, ibig sabihin, may master, no? So, right now, we will be talking more about that and we will be digging deep into the message into the, into the message of the Lord para sa atin ngayong hapon. May basahin po ako dito, no? So, John chapter 13, verse 15. Sabi sa NLT, Jesus is the one talking here. Sabi niya, I have given you an example to follow. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, The Lord has given you an example to follow. Yan. So binigyan ka daw ng Panginoon ng example to follow. And sabi ng Panginoon, sabi ni Jesus here, no? do as I have done to you. Gawin mo kung ano yung ginawa ko sa iyo. Right? And uh, siguro, no, para bigyan ko kayo ng context, kung ano ba 
Uh, ito yung question, ano ba ang silbi? Ano ba ang saysay na pagparito ng Panginoon sa atin? Yes, nasave tayo, naligtas tayo. And sabi nga ni Pastor Carlo, kung ang goal lang ng Panginoon ay iligtas tayo, uh, siguro ang best thing after nating tanggapin siya will be to, to die and to go to heaven. Tama ba? So at least doon, wala ka ng bills na babayaran. Tama, no? Hindi, mo na, hindi ka na magsusot ng mask doon. Di ba? So ano pa, uh, hindi ka na maiinitan, hindi ka na magbubukas ng aircon, tapos umaasa na yung inverter, talagang mura ang babayaran mo, yung pala, hindi pala. So parang may mga ganun. <laughs> Sorry ah, so, <laughs> may hugot pa ako doon. So, uh, may mga ganun tayo. And uh, ano, pa, ano pa, hindi ka na kumbaga parang iniisip mo, naku, Monday na naman, papasok ko, pero bu- buti na lang bukas. Ano? Uh, holiday, buti na lang. Pero, ma... ma- mawawala na yung mga bagay. No? Sabi nga sa salita ng Panginoon, sa, sa Revelation, wala ng luha, wala ng pighati, walang lungkot. And that's an amazing thing. Pero, eh, tingnan mo yung katabi mo, buhay pa ba yan? Sige, tingnan mo, tingnan mo, huwag mo hingahan kasi baka mahimatay. Buhay pa, di ba? So, buhay pa yan. Okay, that person is still alive. The question is, bakit pa humihinga ang nilalang na yan? Kung tinawag na siya ng Panginoon para maligtas, sinuko niya na yung buhay niya sa Panginoon. But the question is, why are we still here? Bakit pa tayo humihinga? Anong saysay? Anong silbi? Okay, nanaririto pa tayo ngayon. Basahin ko itong passage na to. Mark chapter 10, verse 41 to 45. Sabi sa NLT, When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, they were indignant. Yung indignant medyo nagalit, nainis, na annoy. Okay? Nainis daw po sila dun sa, mga, sa magkapatid na James and John. Kasi po, sinasabi nila, sila, ano, nag, nagpapagalingan na sila nitong time na to. Sino yung great, greatest? So, kung ako, mas, ma, mas okay ako, mas great ako. Para ako, mas madami ako nahuling isda, no? kasama ko si Jesus. Para ako yung unang tinawag. May mga ganun siguro silang pag-uusap dito. So, ngayon, medyo na bad trip na yung isa at nadinig siguro to ni Jesus. So, Jesus called these people, they call, Jesus called them and said, eto, tinawag sila ng Panginoon at may sinabi ang Panginoon. Sabi ng Panginoon dito, You know that the rulers in this world lord it over their people. Tama, di ba? Sa mundong ito, talaga nga naman, pagka boss ka, boss ka. Di ba? Pag nasa authority ka, eh, nasa authority ka, authority ka. Pagka nasa posisyon ka sa gobyerno, maganda yung plaka mo, may hahawiin ang daan. Tama? When you're, when you're in the, in, in, in the uh, authority, abay, susunod ang lahat. Luluhod ang mga tala. Yan, sabi nga, di ba? So, sabi ni Jesus, alam nyo naman sa mundo na ito, pagka ikaw ay ruler, They, they lord it, this ruler, this ruler, lord it over their people. And officials flaunt their authority over those under them. Sa, mga subordinates ka, nangyari sa bahay, ikaw ang breadwinner. Ha, ako breadwinner dito, timplahan mo ako ng kape. Ha, di ba? Mga ganon, di ba? Ba, parang, ikaw, ikaw may ano eh, ikaw ang nakakaangat eh. Ikaw ang nakakariwasa sa inyong, sa inyong uh, kumbaga sa home association doon sa inyong ano, sa inyong barangay. Ikaw ang mayaman doon. Aha. Ako mayaman dito. Itapon ko ang basura ko. Kung ako gusto kong itapon. Ba, matindi. <laughs> Di ba? So sabi, sabi ni Jesus, ganun daw. Pero amazingly, sa verse 43, may sinabi siya dito. Sabi dito, but among you, it will be different. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, but you will be different. Okay? It will be different for you. Hindi siya katulad nung sa mundo. And right now, I would like you to hear this. No, Sabi ng Panginoon dito, whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. Ayan, eto na, pumasok na yung salitang servant. Okay? Sabi dito, kung gusto mo daw na ikaw talaga ay maging leader, sabi dito, you need to be a servant. Okay? Whoever wants to be first among you, you must be the slave of everyone else. Aba, Napakatindi ng hinihingi ng Panginoon dito, no? Sabi niya, pero amazing yung sumunod na sinabi, verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and give His life as a ransom for many. Okay? We are called to serve. And sabi ng Panginoon, gayahin niyo ako. Follow my example. At ano yung example? Serve. Thus, you are called to serve. Tapikin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, you are called to serve. Tinawag daw tayo para magsilbi, para maglingkod. Ang bihira, no? And to, thus, meaning to say, no, uh, alam niyo po ba na ang paglilingkod, ang pagsuserve, is innate. 
intertwined sa pagkatao mo. Pagka tinadtad ka at pinigaka ka, lalabas doon, serve. Ganun po yun. We are a built like that. We are called to serve. Ito ang tanong, sino ang pinaglilingkuran mo? Kanino ka nagsaserve? Tanongin mo yung katabi mo. Kanino ka nagsaserve? Ah, it's a good question though. Sino ang master mo? Pakasi kung ikaw ay servant, ibig sabihin may master ka. Ang question, sino sir, sino master mo? At ito po yun, lingid, uh, baka po yung lingid sa kaalaman nyo, bawat isa sa atin ay may master talaga. Hindi, pastor, wala po ako eh. Ano po ako? Self-employed po ako eh. Master po ako. Ako lang po talaga. Wala akong boss. Hmm, tingnan natin. Okay? So siguro kung titingnan kung hihimayin natin tong message na to, dalawang bagay yung pag-uusapan natin. We will be talking about master and model. Dalawang bagay. Okay? So yun po yung hihimayin natin. So, let's talk about the first one, master. All right. So banggitin na pa pag-usapan natin tong bagay na to. So nung sinabi ni Jesus na you need to be servant of all, you need to be a slave for everyone else. Sa context po na nagugulat ako dito, gumagalaw-galaw siya. Usod ko. Yan. Sa context po ng mga Israelites, aware po sila kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng Lord. Tanong niya ako, bakit? Kasi po, yun talaga yung culture sa nation nila. Actually, pag po kayo ay nagbalik tanaw doon po sa uh, Old Testament, mapapansin nyo na yun pala ay nasa lo nila, nasa batas. Okay, basahin natin yung isa sa mga batas nila. no? Exodus chapter 21, verse 2 to 6. Alright, sabi ni sa NLT. Okay, sabi dyan. If you buy a Hebrew slave, oh, okay, post tayo ng konti dito. If you buy a Hebrew slave, ibig sabihin pala, binibili ang mga servants. Ah, question, sinong bumili sa'yo? May, na, may nagtanong naman sa'yo, magkano ka ba? Yung may nag-aangas, anong, angas mo ah, magkano ka ba? Parang gusto mong alipinin yung tao na yun eh, di ba? Pero dito, sa culture nila, nung araw, ay ganun talaga. Binibili at ang pag- pagkakaroon ng slave ay talagang natural lang po or normal nung araw. So nung kinagamit ni Jesus yung context ng slave at master serving one another and being a slave for everyone else, alam ni na Peter, ni na James, ni na John at kahit ni Judas, pagka sinagalog medyo masama pakinggan, no? ni Judas, di ba? So, <laughs> uh, alam ni Judas yung, ano, yung ibig sabihin ng context na yun. And sabi dito, If you buy a Hebrew slave, he may serve for no more than six years. Alam niyo po, no, sa atin ngayon, hindi na siya tawag doon, uh, ganun, uh, hindi, parang na, na-abolish na yung slavery. So, praise God sa mga, ano po, no, sa mga reformists natin, talagang pinaglaban nila ang bagay na ito, no? And, uh, pero nung araw, ay talaga pong binibili ang mga, ano, ang mga tagapagsilbi, ang mga slaves, no? Sabi dito, pag daw bumili ka ng slave, he may serve you for no more than six years. So ito po ay batas nila. Pero sabi dyan, set him free in the seventh year and he will owe you nothing for his freedom. Verse 3, if he was single, may mga single ba dyan? Okay. <laughs> hindi niya alam kung proud ba siya o hindi. Eh, no? So if he was... <laughs> Sorry. If he was single, when he became your slave, he shall live single. Nakawawa naman. Single pumasok, single lalabas. Yeah? But if he was married before he became a slave, then his wife must be freed with him. If his master gave him a wife, ah, pwede pa lang magbigay ng, mas, ng wife yung master. So sa mga single po, baka pwede magpaslave muna kayo at sabihin niyo, master, ikaw na lang humanap ng wife para sa akin. Pwede, di ba? So, and now, wala nang ganun ngayon. So, mukhang dito, effective para sa'yo, brother. So, <laughs> if, if his master, if, okay, magulo. If his master gave him a wife while he was a, a slave, they had sons or daughters, then only the man will be free in the seventh year. But his wife and children will still belong to his master. But the slave may declare, ito daw yung pwedeng sabihin ng slave, I love my master, my wife, my children. I don't want to go free. Okay? Sabi dyan sa verse 6, if he does this, his master must present him before God. Then his master must take him to the door or doorpost and publicly pierce his ear with an owl. Okay? Parang hikaw. Okay? After that, the slave will serve his master for life. 
So yun pala yung kwento ng pagka, pagkakaroon ng ano ng servant tsaka ng, ng ano yung servant master relationship, no? So ngayon, ito nga yung tanong. Pwede ka palang palayain eh. Okay? So pwede ka after nung pwede ka nang malaya. Pero pwede pa lang mag-declare yung ano yung yung servant eh love ko si master eh. Ayaw kong lumaya. I would like to serve you for the rest of my life. Alam niyo po, nung ako po ay bagong-bagong Christian, wala akong background kasi ng ano ng ng Christianity. Ang alam ko lang uh, uh, yung mga nababasa ko. So nung nabasa ko po ito, nabasa ako ng Genesis, tapos pagdating ko sa Exodus, uy, pagkapala si Master. Pagpapahikaw. Eh nung po naging Christian ako, wala pa akong hikaw. Sabi ko, magpahikaw ako. So nung naging Christian ako, nagpahikaw po ako. Sorry, hindi, yun yung pagkakaintindi ko ng time na to. Pero hindi, hindi ganun talaga yon. So ano lang, kumbaga passionate lang ako, zealous lang ako nung time na yun, pero walang ka-wisdom-wisdom, no? Pero anyway, so kaya may butas yan, may butas, so pwede ako ilagay ng hikaw dyan. So anyway, ito yung context na yon. So ito nga yung question. Sino ang master natin? Sino ang paglilingkuran natin? And I would like to read a passage with that. Romans chapter 6, verse 12 to 23. Sabi ng NLT, Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Sabi dito, Do not let sin control the way you live. Alam niyo po ba mga master? Kinokontrol nila yung kanilang mga alipin. Eh, pamilyar pa ba kayo? Naalala niyo pa yung ano, nung araw sa Civic at Cultural, yung mga alipin. Aliping sa gigilid, sa aliping timawa, at aliping namamahayan. Okay, may mga kabats pa pala ako dito. So, medyo nagugulahan yung mga kabataan na niyo. <laughs> so, um, so uh, ang, ang master, kinokontrol nila yung kanilang slaves. Okay, so, kung, so ngayon, posible ba na ang master mo ngayon ay kasalanan? that you are being controlled by your master. That you are controlled with the spirit and the, the demon of unforgiveness. And that is your master. Sabi ng demon of unforgiveness, huwag kang lumapit sa mga taong yan. Ikaw naman lalayo sa kanila. Kasi bakit? Kinokontrol ka eh. At wala kang magawa. Gusto mo silang lapitan. Gusto mong kamayan. Gusto mong yapusin. Gusto mong pagkumustahan. Pero hindi ka makalapit bakit controlled ka nung master mo. Tanong mo yung katabi mo, sinong master mo? Alright? And it is like, so ibig sabihin, every one of us, we have that capacity to follow, to be a servant, and to serve. Ang question, sinong pinaglilingkuran mo? Okay? Some of you, you are bandaged and you are You, you're, you're, you're in bandage and in, in chain of that master na tinatawag na addiction. Gusto mo nang lumaya. Gusto mo makatakas. Ayaw, alam mo na nakakasira sa kalusugan mo yan. Napanood mo na ilang TikTok na, napanood mo na wag gawin yan. Nakakasira ng kalusugan yan. Ikaw naman, gusto mong gawin, pero sabi ng master mo, hindi, hit-hit pa tayo ng isa. Ikaw naman, Wala kang magawa eh. Alipin ka. Ang question, kinokontrol ka niya. Master mo ba yan? Some of you, control ka ng, ng spirit, ng, uh, yung, yung wrong relationship na yan? Master mo eh. Alam mo, hindi tama yan. Alam mo, sisirain ka niyan eh. Sang katutak na mimna, nakita mo patungkol dyan. Gusto mong tumakas. Kinausap mo yung tropa mo, kinausap mo sa leader mo, kinausap mo sa cellmate mo. Sinabi na, tol, wag yan, mali yan. Sis, wag yan, layuan mo. Pero ikaw sa hindi maintindi ang dahilan, when he touch you like that, when you hold you like that, it all coming back to you right now. Sa hindi maintindi ang dahilan, bakit? Master mo eh. You are a slave to that. You are serving that. And uh, amazing dito ang sabi dito, ang ganda sabi ni Paul sa mga taga-Roma, sa taga-Roma no? sabi niya, do not let sin control you. Control the way you live. Yung iba sa inyo, bandage ng utang, bandage ng finances, bandage ka ng business mo. Sabi ng business mo, wag kang mag-church ng Sunday. Ikaw naman, oh, hindi ako mag-church ng Sunday kasi may business ako. Eh, master mo business mo? Master mo pera mo? 
Alipin ka ng pera? Sabi ng pera, huwag mong gawin yan. Ito lang bilhin mo. Ikaw naman, ito nga bilhin ko. Master mo, yung computer mo, yung games mo. Sabi, tumunog, nag-alarm, ha-harvest ka na, ha-harvest ka naman doon, Smurfs. May ganun pa ba? Sorry. <laughs> Smurfs yung alam ko. <laughs> diba? Alipin ka eh. Tanong mo yung katabi mo, who is your master? Ganda nung sinabi dito, do not give in to the sinful desires. Verse 13, do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil. To serve sin. Ayan na, naku, pinaglingkuran ng kasalanan. Nanilbihan sa kasalanan. Instead, ang ganda nung sinabi, give yourselves completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have a new life. Sabi ito, yes, you are dead before wala kang magawa, but you have a new life. Ang ganda nung sumunod na sinabi, so use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Verse 14, and I would like to declare this para sa bawat isa sa inyo. Sin is no longer your master. Hindi ko alam kung gano'n ka nakatagal bihag niyan. Hindi ko alam kung gano'n mo nakatagal sinusundan niyang master na yan. But here, the Lord is declaring to you, sin is no longer your master. Ganda nung preaching ni Pastor Rich last Sunday. Merong lumpo. For 38 years, crippled siya. Wala siyang magawa. But because we are serving the God of the impossible, when Jesus came there, sabi ng Lord, get up, take up, take, take your mat and walk. Right now, hindi ko alam kung gano'n nakatagal. 38 years? For so long? That bandage? That unforgiveness? That trauma that is holding you back? That depression and anxiety that is holding you back? The Lord is telling you, sin is no longer your master. Claim that it's yours. Amen? For you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Well then, since God's grace has set us free from the law, does that mean we can go on sinning? Paul is saying here, of course not. Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? Sino sinusunod mo, kapatid? Anong sinusunod mo? Pita ng laman? Sarili mo? Baka ikaw, master mo, sarili mo eh. Ito lang ang gagawin ko. Wala akong ibang gustong gawin. Ako lang ang masusunod. Pero alam mo, lahat ng decision mo sumablay. Tapos magtataka ka pa kung bakit nagkakaganon. Kasi ang master mo, sarili mo eh. Are we there? Grabe, no, pahirap na ng pahirap tong tinuturo natin ha. Ah. Okay, Lord, rescue nyo po kami. Okay, ano sunod na sinabi? Sabi dyan, ganda nung sunod na sinabi dito. Sabi dyan, you can be a slave to sin which leads to death or you can choose to obey God which leads to righteous living. So now there's a choice given to you. Thank God, verse 17, once you were slaves of sin but now you wholeheartedly obey His teaching we have given you. Now, verse 18, you are free from Your slavery to sin. You are free from the slavery of sin right now. Right? I would like you to claim it. Hindi ko alam kung gano'n nakatagal. Hindi ko alam kung ano yan na bumibihag sa'yo at gumagapo sa'yo. Master mo yan. Sunod-sunuran ka dyan. But right now here, the Lord is telling you, Now, you are free from the slavery of sin. Are we there? Alright? and you have become slaves to righteous living, ayun pala, magpalit ka ng master. Ibang master mo na. Okay? Sabi dyan, because of your weakness, the weakness of your human nature, I am using the sl- illustration of slavery to help you. Thank you, Paul. Medyo naintindihan namin to. Okay? Previously, you let yourselves be slaves to impurity and lawlessness, which led 
ever deeper into sin. Naku, oo nga naman. Palalim tayo ng palalim sa kasalanan. Now, you must give yourselves to be slaves, to righteous living, so that you will become holy. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligations to do right. And what was the result? You are now ashamed of the things you used to do. Things that end in eternal doom. But now, you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. And right now, I'm declaring that you are free from the slavery of sin. In Jesus' name. And Father, right now, I declare that upon the lives of these people in Jesus' name. You said in your word, Lord, that you, uh, where your anointing is, you break the yoke of bandage. And right now, the Lord is breaking that chains upon your life. Kung ano man yan, ikaw ang Panginoon ang may alam yan. Claim it, it's yours. Amen? Amen. All right. Sige, tuloy natin to. Sabi dyan, But you are now free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now, you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Naku nga naman, napakaganda. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Sabi ng NLT, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. For God bought you with a high price. May bumili sa atin. Binili tayo ng dugo ng Panginoon. Biyag tayo ng kasalanan eh. Master natin yon Sabi nung isang master, ako na bibili dyan. Tapos nung binili ka, pinalaya ka. Oh. Are we there? Right? And here, sabi ito, for God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. Thus, we can serve our God. We can choose Him as our master. Are we there, destiny? Alright? Nakukuha niyo ba ito? Sabi mo sa tabi mo, you are no longer a slave of sin. Sige, declare mo sa kanya. Sawa ka mo sa sarili mo. Ang dibdi mo, sabi mo sa sarili mo, I am free from the power of sin. Amen? Pinalaya ka na ng Panginoon kung ano man yan, unforgiveness. Merong trauma nung nakaraan ka, may betrayal, merong galit sa puso mo na hindi ka makatakas-takas. Right now, the Lord is setting you free right now. Amen? Is that cool? Is that awesome? Yeah, because we are serving the God of the impossible. Maring imposible yan sa human being. Madami ka nang inatin ng kung ano-anong seminar, hindi ka makatakas-takas. But right now, I would like you to understand, the God that we're serving is the God who can set you free from those chains. Amen? Praise God. Napakatindi ng ating Panginoon. Okay, so that's letter M. First letter M, master. Pangalawang letter M. Who is your model? Yan. Okay? We serve because Jesus is our model. Sabi sa John chapter 13, verse 15, I have given you an example to follow. Yan. So sabi ng Lord, may example akong binigay sa'yo. Do as I have done to you. So ano ba yung example na yun? And I believe this is a very good illustration and passage, no? In order for us to understand, ano bang ibig sabihin ng when we serve? Okay? And Jesus is the best model for this. Sabi sa John chapter 13, verse 1 to 17, I'm reading from the NLT. Before the Passover celebration, so ito yung time na si Jesus sikat na, madami na siya na-accomplish, and uh, uh, nitong time na to, ano na siya, makuklusify na siya. Kung baga, ito na yung pala- last supper na nila to. Ito na yon. So, Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that His hour had come to leave this world and return to His Father. He had loved His disciples during His ministry on earth. Now, He loved them to the very end. Okay, verse 2, sabi dyan, It was supper time. So, kakain na. Okay, kain na na. It was, it was time for supper. And the devil had already prompted Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Nako. Verse 3, Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything. Okay, post lang tayo ng saglit doon. Dito daw, si Jesus, alam niya na binigay na daw sa kanya lahat ng authority above, over all things. Above everything, over everything. Sabi dito, and that he had come from God and would return to God. So meaning to say, kitang-kita nyo that Jesus is in the place of authority. 
that He is indeed the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and He is in, from the highest of high. Are we there? Kitang-kita dito to, sa pagka-passage na to. So ngayon, kung ikaw, kaya si Jesus, tapos alam mo that you have the authority above everything, over everything, ano sasabihin mo? Kuha na mo ako ng ubas. Paypayan mo ako habang minamasaya ang aking mga paa. <laughs> pwede, di ba? Bakit? O, nasa authority ka eh. Di ba? Ano pang pwede mong sabihin? Ayoko magtrabaho ngayon. Okay? Sa Tuesday, maglolong weekend ako ng forever. <laughs> di ba? Di ba? Pero sumasweldo ako. Okay, nasa authority eh. Di ba? Okay. Sana pwedeng ganun. Pero, amazingly, magugulat ka sa sunod na nangyari. If you have all the authority and you know what's about to come, sa madaling salita, may pwede kang gawin na mas maganda. Pero sa, amazingly, nakaka-amaze itong sumunod na sinabi. Sabi dyan, So, Jesus got up from the table, imagine yung kakain na sila nito, got up from the table, took off his robe, kino ba daw yung damit, wrapped a towel around his waist, nagtapis ng tuwalya, and poured water into a basin. Tapos, ang sabi dyan, Then, he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them them with the towel he had around him. Okay. Kung ikaw si Jesus, nasa yung lahat ng authority, hindi ka maghuhugas ng paa ng mga disciples mo. Bigyan ko lang kayo ng context. Dito po, sa kwentong ito, nung araw, hindi pa po ano, cementado yung mga daan. Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, kahit simentado na maputik pa rin. Eh, no? Amazing, no? So, <laughs> so sorry po. Uh, napansin ko lang. Observation. So, nung araw, talagang hindi simentado yung mga daan, maputik. Tapos, pagka po, ma, ano naman, ma, mataas ang sikat ng araw, ay malikabok. So, imaginein mo, tapos, yung sapatos pala nila, wala silang sapatos na katulad ng close shoes natin ngayon. Nung araw, mga sandals. Ang kanilang, ano, kumbaga, yun ang mataas na langit para sa kanila. Pagka nakasandals ka, ay big time yan, nakasandals. So ngayon, ang mga slaves walang chinelas, walang, walang suot. So pag nakasandals ka, oh, okay, kaya lang, nakasandals ka, mainit ang sikat ng araw, most likely pagpapawisan yung paa mo. Tama? Tapos lumalakad sila sa kalsada na maalikabok. So dumitikit-dikit ang mga alikabok sa pawis-pawis na paa mo. So sorry po, pero it, kailangan nyo makita yung picture kung gano po kalala ang nagaganap dito. Okay? So si Jesus ngayon, ay naandun. At uhugasan nyo yung mga paa. Imagine nyo kung anong klaseng paa ni Peter. Paa ng isang manging isda. Nakababad sa tubig. Pero pagka nasa lupa siya, naglalakad. Baka pasmado. Tapos, baka may bitak-bitak na yun. Tapos naglakad sila ng mahaba. Ito yung makikita niya, nagmalakad sa mahaba. Tapos, papas- papasok sila sa kainan. Ang culture po nung araw, pagka ikaw ay uh, teacher ka, rabay ka, may mga karay-karay kayong mga servant talaga. Tapos ang goal talaga nila, hu- tagahugas talaga ng paa. Tapos pag may mga kainan po, na po katulad nitong kakainan nila, sa labas po ng bahay, meron talagang tapayan, may jar ng tubig. Tapos yung mga servant, may dadadala silang pichel. Tapos yung pichel na yun, tsaka tuwalya. Hu- bubuhusan yung mga paa, tas huhugasan talaga. Alam niyo po kung bakit? Sa so imagine mo, ito kunyari kumakain ka, naka dekwatro kang ganyan, naka Indian seat, kitang-kita mo yung mga paa mo. Na talagang, nangyari, nahulog yung kinakain mo, yung ubas, ay, naku, di ba, parang, <laughs> hindi, hindi, no? parang, parang uh, kunyari, kunyari, uh, okay lang madumi yung paa mo, kaya yung katabi mo, nakita mo yung paa, parang wawa lang ka ng gana eh. So, so, buti na, nakatanghalian na tayo, no? O sa mga hindi pa nagtatanghalian, sorry po, pero <laughs> gani, medyo malala lang po talaga tong kwento na to, pero ganun siya. So, nakikita niyo yung picture na parang hindi ito gagawin ng isang nasa authority. Okay? Nasa isang Ang gagawa nito, servant talaga, slave. Sila po ay binili para maghugas ng mga paa. Ang problema, itong tropa ni Jesus, ay wala po silang slave na daladala. Wala, wala silang slave na dalala. So ngayon, tanong, sinong maghuhugas ng paa nila? Okay. Ngayon, meron daw, ano, isa sa mga nabasa ko, meron daw, uh, pagka daw may rabay ka, yung usual, yung disciple, yung lowest disciple, ito yung mga, sila yung maghuhugas ng paa ng master. So siguro, kaya pala, maaari na yun yung dahilan bakit sila nagpapagalingan sa simula. Kaya sila nag-a-argue who is the greatest. Kasi yung lowest, Oh, ikaw ang tagahugas ng paa. Ikaw lowest eh. 
Okay? Pero here, makikita natin na si Jesus, hinugasan yung paa ng mga disciples. Tapos, ito pa matindi. Yung nakatapis na tuwalya, yun ang pinangpunas. Siguro kung gano'ng kakapal yung mga alikabok dun sa paa nila, para pwede ka na magtanim ng kamote. Tapos imagine mo, pag binuhusan mo ng tubig yun at sinalo mo ng baso, para na may salted caramel macchiato. Sorry sa mga magkakape mamaya. <laughs> sorry. So, sorry, yun ang imagine ko. Eh, no? Parang, yun, kadiri yun eh. Siguro may mga, may mga buo-buo pa parang yung 3-in-1 na, na hindi nahalo. Di ba? Parang, lumulupan. <laughs> Ganong kadumi ang mga paanong araw. Pag yung singit-singit noon, talagang uh, inuugasan yun, tapos pinupunasan. Siguro kung puti yung tuwalya na nakatapis kay Jesus, maging kulay brown na yun. So ikaw, kung ikaw ay leader, may authority ka, ba hindi mo gagawin yun? Lalo na sa mga subordinates mo. Hindi mo gagawin yun. So ngayon, dito, ginawa ni Jesus. Pambihira, no? ngayon and drying them with with that towel. And when Jesus came to Simon Peter, eto na, lumapit na kay Peter. Ito si Peter, medyo madaldal to eh. Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I am doing but someday you will. No, Peter protested. You will never wash my feet. Ah. Jesus, parang, Lord, hindi mo hugasan yung paa ko. Si Judas na lang ang maguhugas ng pao. Pero hindi man sinabi dito yan. Pero, sabi dyan, unless, sabi ni Jesus, unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. And then Simon Peter exclaimed, then wash my, my hands and head as well, Lord, not just my feet. And Jesus replied, a person who has bath all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. Sa context na to, bakit 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 nagpapahuga si Peter yung nagdadrama siya na pati ulo ko Lord, pati kamay ko. Sa sa culture po nila, hindi ka pumupunta sa kainan nang hindi naliligo. Maaring dito sa Pilipinas makikitotropa ka. O tara, dinner tayo, hindi ka naligo, napambahay ka pa. Tayo muna tayo. Sa sa kanila hindi ganoon. Kailangan naligo lahat all over. Kaya ang hugasan lang talaga paa, linis na 'yon. Linis na paa lang talaga. Okay? Pero dito, si Pete, nung sinasabi ni Peter sa Jesus, hindi ko na alam hugas, naligo ka na eh. At alaman yon dapat. Alam, SOP nila yon So ngayon, dito sa portion na to, nung sinasabi niya ng Lord na, and, your, and, and you disciples are clean, but not all of you. Bakit sinabing not all of you? For Jesus knew who would betray Him. That is, that is what He meant when He said, not all of you are clean. After Jesus washing, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord. Yes, you are right. Because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash, wash each other's feet. I have given you an example. So ibig sabihin pala, Ayaw, kaya pala ayaw nilang hugpa. Most likely, naisip ko lang, kaya ayaw ni Peter magpahugasan si G- ng paa. Kasi iniisip niya, so ibig sabihin, hugasan ko din yung paa ni, ano, ni James? Ni John? Yeah. Baka napapaganon si Peter? Kasi kadiri talaga yun nung araw. Okay? Imagine, may mga krak-krak pa yun, di ba? Kakukot-kutin mo pa yung krak na yun eh. May dumi-dumi pa yun eh. Bubuha mo, binubuhusan mo. Ganon, ganon ka dumi yun. So ngayon, sabi dito, I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. I tell you the truth. Slaves are not greater than their master. Nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends the message. Verse 17. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Alam nyo, no, dito sa kwento na to, given the premise, si Jesus may mga pwede siyang, pwede niya hindi gawin yun. Bakit? Una sa lahat, Um, he can have that, uh, naalala niyo yung passage na Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything. He could have pride by then. Pride over his dignity. Ano yung dignity? The state or quality of being worthy of honor and respect. He has the authority over everything. He has that, um, kumbaga, dapat may respect and honor na ibinibigay sa kanya. Yung bang tipo, huh, 
Nasa akin lahat ng authority. Ba't naman ako maghuhugas ng plato? Ako breadwinner sa bahay eh. Ba't ako maghuhugas ng plato? Ba't ako maglalampaso? Ba't kailangan kong labhan yung mga yan? Ako na nga nagpasok ng pera. Ako pa maghuhugas niyan. Nay, ba't mo naman ako inuususang maghugas ng plato? Ang taas ng grades ko ngayong semester. Kita mo si Bunso, bagsakin, dapat siya naghugas ng plato eh. Aba, authority! Yung dignity ko naman, dapat may honor, may respect naman. Bakit ko naman gagawin yung menial task na yan sa office? E, boss ako dito. Ako kaya ang manager. Dapat akong pinagtitimpla ng kape. Ah, dito sa aming community, ba't naman ako tutulong dyan sa, sa clean up drive na yan? E eh, ako pinakamayaman dito, SUV nga sa sakya namin, lahat sila nagtatricycle eh. Aba, hindi huh. ko dapat gagawin, hindi ako magsaserve. Si Jesus, by this time, pwede niya sabihin yun eh. All authority has been given to me. Pero question, bakit itong mamang ito naghugas ng paa ng kanyang mga disciples? Ano pa? Contempt. Ano yung contempt? Disregard na, na worthless, not deserving, yung hahamakin mo. Pwede siyang manghamak eh. Bakit sabi doon, Jesus came from God and is going back to God. He's, re- he's about to return. Ibig sabihin, ang posisyon niya, andito. Aba, ang pamilya ko. Kamag-ana ko si Mayor. Aba, dapat pag dumating naman ako, nandun ako sa magandang upuan. Pag pipila doon sa center, dapat pauunahin kami. Bakit? Pinsan ko si ganito eh. Aba, Dapat lang. Tito ko kaya si, si CEO. Dapat pag pumasok ako dito, hindi na chinecheck yung ID ko. Contempt. Mga hama ka sa iba. Sinandong ka na eh. May connection ka na eh. Jesus came from God. He's about to return to God. Pwede niyang gawin yun. He can do that. Okay? But, for what? For prestige. Okay? Ano yung prestige? Widespread respect and admiration felt for someone on the basis of perception or achievements and quality. Hindi na nang achieve nitong mamang to. Ang taas na, daming pinagaling. Diba? Yung pilay, nakakita, yung bulag, lumakad. Baligtan yung sinabi ko, di ba? Gising pa ba kayo? Hindi kayo nag-react. Ano ba yan? Natawa tuloy kayo. But what I'm saying here is, Jesus had that achievements. And mari ikaw, naandung ka na din. Kaya parang, ba't ako magsaserve sa church? Ba't ako magbabolunteer dito? Nagbigay na ako ng malaking tights eh. Ba't pa ako tutulong ng umingiti-ngiti doon at magiging part ng shield at magiging part ng asher at mag-aayos doon sa welcome center? Maglalagay ng mga bumbilya ni Donard. <laughs> ba't pa ako tutulong doon? Eh, bakit pa ako tutulong doon sa production? Bakit pa ako tutulong dito na mag-ayos dito at magligpit na mga kable na to? Eh, nagbigay na ako ng tights. Malaki kaya binigay ko. Contempt? Manghahama ka dahil hindi mo gagawin mag-serve. Because you got some achievements. Sa kumpanya nga namin, hindi ko ginagawa. Ba't ko gagawin yan sa church? But Jesus here is saying, Among you, it will be different. You are no longer a slave of sin. You know why we're serving? It's an overflow of a forgiven soul, of someone set free from the bandage of sin, from the fangs of hell we've been rescued. That's why we're serving. Ano pa? Si Jesus pwedeng ano, magbiter-biteran siya. Bitterness. Ano yung bitterness? Yung galit niya. Bakit? Alam niya si Judas, huhudasin siya nun eh. Pwede niya sabihin na walang hiyayang si Judas. Huhudasin ako niyan. Ba't ko huhugasan pa niyan? Ba't ako magsaserve dyan? Ba't naman ako magsaserve? Ba't ako sasama sa department na yan? Yung mga yun, niligawan ko yung binasted ako nun. Ba't ako tutulong dyan? Ba't ako tutulong dyan? It, itong mga to dati cellmates ko yung mga yan, ganito nangyari sa amin. Ba't ako tutulong? Ba't ko paglilingkuran si, ano, yung kapatid ko? Walang iyayan eh. Hindi nag-aambag yan sa pamilya, hindi nakikihati sa gastusin eh. Ba't ako magsaserve? 
Pat ko paglilingkuran yung mga kamag-anak ko. Bakit ko gagalingan sa sa opisina? Wala, yeah, sesweldoan lang ako dito. Tatrabaho lang ako, sesweldoan lang ako. Pat ako magse-serve. Bat ko i-extend yung kamay ko. Kalit ka. Bitter ka. At hindi mo alam, nagse-serve ka talaga sa bitterness. Ang master mo, bitterness. Ang master mo, pride. Ang master mo, yung galit mo na humahawak at bumibihag sa'yo. Are we there? But, you will be different. Sin has no power over you. You are no longer a slave of sin. Are we there? Ang bihira itong message ito ng Lord. Praise God. So ngayon, anong ginawa ng Lord? Okay, I'm about to end. Tawagin ko po yung mga manunugtog natin dito. Ayan. Kung kayo po ay tumutugtog, baka hinihipo kayo ng Panginoon, tumutugtog din kayo. Kung kayo po ay sumasayaw, pasayaw po, sumayaw din po kayo. Di ba? Ano kaya ang pinapagawa sa'yo ng Lord? Ano kaya ang pinapagawa ng Master mo? Mm. Usap kayo ng Lord mamaya. Malalaman nyo. Ha, pakaganda nito. So ngayon, so si Jesus pwede niyang gawin yon, May bitterness, may pride, may contempt. Pero ito yung nangyari. Basahin ko, Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 8. Sabi dyan, Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Sabi ni Paul sa mga taga-Pilipos. Sabi niya, Any comfort from His love? Any fellowship together in the Spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then, make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other. Loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though He was God, ito yung binabanggit natin kanina, no? though He was God, He did not think of equality with God as something to cling in, to cling to, I mean. Instead, He gave up His divine privileges, He took the humble position of a slave, ito na, yun ang katulad ng nangyari kanina, and was born as a human being. When He appeared in human form, He humbled Himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. Balik tayo dun sa John chapter 13. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into the basin. Then, he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. Yung mga disciples na nagtalo-talo, ito yung sinabi ng Lord. Luke chapter 22, verse 24 to 27. Nung nagtatalo-talo sila, sabi dito, Then they began to argue among themselves about who would be the greatest among them. Ito na ngayon. And then Jesus told them, In this world, the kings and the great men lord it over their people. Yet they are called friends of the people. Alam mo yun? May label na friends, pero lording over them. Verse 26, But among you, let me repeat that once again, it will be different. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, it will be different. Those who are the greatest among you should take the lowest rank, and the leader should be like a servant. Who is more important, the one who sits at the table or the one who serves? The one who sits at the table, of course, but not here. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, not here. For I am among you as one who serves. Jesus has all the authority under heaven and earth. He came from God and He will, by this time, is about to return to God. And He is serving. How did Jesus serve, no? Jesus is our, our model. Thus, sabi nga dito, no? Do as I have done to you. How do we serve? Number one, and, and tayo dito. We serve with love. Sabi mo nga, love. Basahin ko, balik tayo sa, sa Exodus yung kanina. 21 verse 5, NLT, sabi dito. But the slave may declare, 
I love my master. The premise is, is love. Ang ganda ng sumunod na sinabi dito, no? After that, the slave will serve the master for life. And I believe, no, uh, mahirap hugutin yung pag-ibig na yan. Mahirap maglingkod kung walang pagmamahal. And, and serving with love is impossible para sa mga katulad natin. Because we lack love. But amazingly, there's a passage in, in 1 John chapter, in, 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 first, in uh, first John, sabi doon, we love because He first loved us. Alam mo bakit ka makakapag-serve? It is an overflow of a forgiven soul. It is an overflow of someone set free from sin. It is an overflow of the goodness of the Lord sa buhay mo. That's why we're serving with love to one another. Ang ganda ng sumunod na, na passage nyo, Galatians chapter 5, verse 13, sabi dito, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Pinalaya ka ng Panginoon. It is for freedom that the Lord set you free. But instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. Sabi mo sa atin mo, serve one another in love. Okay, we serve in love. Romans chapter 12, verse 9, sabi dito, Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with a genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. which will lead me to my second thing na gusto kong sabihin dito. How do we serve? We serve with joy. Sa mga joy. Joy is not circumstantial. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya affected ng outside situation. Joy came from within. It's an overflow. Uh, yung word na enthusiastic, is enthusiastic, pag tinignan mo yung salita na yon, pag yung pinanggalingan niya, entheos. Ang literal na ibig sabihin, God within. Because God is inside of you. There's an overflow why you are serving. Whatever the season of your life may be, estudyante ka, nagtatrabaho, professional, boss ka na sa kumpanya, may mga kiddos ka na, praise God, dumadami na mga mommies and daddies ngayon. Tama ba? Okay? And we can still serve. Are we there? We can still serve. We can still give our, our, our hearts and our hands. We're not saying na limited lang tayo. I believe the Lord is is causing you to see like a, a situation or a place where you can lend a hand, where you can serve, serve with love and serve with joy. Where you are planted, diyan ka pinagsaserve ng Lord. Maaring, maaring may ginagawa ka sa uh, limited yung time mo, pero kung naandong ka sa community nyo, you are you're called to serve there. Give your best. The overflow of a forgiven soul. Are we there, destiny? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are called to serve. Okay, sabi sa Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7, with work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people you're serving because it's an overflow of the forgiven soul. You're, you're giving back to God. It's a worship to the Lord. Saying, Lord, you're worthy, worthy, worthy. Amen? Okay? Ito pa, sabi dito. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8 to 11, sabi dyan, Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. God has given each of you a gift from His great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak! as though God Himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. It's an overflow. Are we there, destiny? Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Christ Jesus. All glory and power to Him forever and ever. Say, Amen. Sir, wherever you are, whoever you are with, Whenever you can, you still have time. Hanggat humihinga, we can still serve. 
we are called to serve. And we are not serving sin. We are no longer a slave of sin. Sin has no power over your life. But we are serving our Master, Jesus. Amen? Out of the overflow of a forgiven soul. And lastly, we serve with faithfulness. Ano yung faithfulness na to? Each of you, sabi sa 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, NIV says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. May binigay ang Lord sa'yo. Time, talent, treasure. Gamitin mo yan to serve others. Alam nyo ngayon, padating yung, ang tawag doon, uh, SOD Youth Camp. Okay, pasada niyo SOD Youth Camp. Yung ilan sa mga estudyante gusto mag-join, kulang yung budget. But you have some treasures. May money ka. You wanna serve? Gusto mo mag-serve doon? Kaya lang hindi ka makapunta kasi may ginagawa kang iba? Yung, ma- yung money mo can go. Can sponsor a participant. Are we there? You are no longer a slave of money. That's not your master anymore. Hey? May talent ka? Kaya mong kumanta? Join the worship team. Kaya mong mag Gusto nyo matutong mag-drums? Yeah? Ako gusto kong kumanta. Kaya lang ayaw nang kanta sa akin. Kaya nagsasalita. Sabi ng anak ko, dahil di ka marunong kumanta, no? kaya pala nagpipigitch ka na lang. Father, we would like to thank you for this message. Marami pong salamat for ministering to us, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for being our master, for buying, Lord God, buying us, Lord God, with your precious blood, Panginoon. We are no longer a slave of sin. We are no longer, a sin has no longer power over our lives. And we belong to you right now. You bought us with a price, with a high price. Now, Lord God, we acknowledge and we remember that right now you are our master. Right now, for some of you that for so long, you are serving sin, you are serving yourself, but right now you're decided, Pastor Ben, I want to serve my master Jesus. I want to make him the master over my life. I will serve him. Right now, for that person, I would like you to lift up your hands and declare it to the Lord. Tell it to the Lord. All eyes closed, all heads bowed down. Just tell it to the Lord. I am your servant. I would like to serve you for the rest of my life. Hanggang pong umihinga, Panginoon. My time, my talent, my treasure. It's all yours. My life is all yours, Panginoon. You are my master. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, indeed, right now for those people that's that's serving sin before but right now they've decided right now I'm declaring to you you are now free the Lord said if the sun sets you free you are free indeed and right now the Lord is telling you you are free there is freedom where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom the spirit of the yoke break the yoke of bondage the Lord right now is breaking the yoke and the chains of sin right now the chains of unforgiveness the chains of depression, the chains of anxiety. Right now, the Lord is breaking that. The chains of addiction, the Lord is breaking that. The chains of uh, ng pornography, the chains ng wrong relationship. Right now, the Lord is breaking that right now. Be set free. You are no longer a slave of sin. Come on, claim up destiny. That's yours. Just yours. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And right now, Lord, we thank you, Lord, God, for modeling us how to serve. Though, Lord God, you, you have all the authority. You have that dignity. You have that prestige, Lord God. But you're willing to stoop down and serve and model us how to serve. And Panginoon, dalangin ko po sa bawat isa na narigito ngayon, ibuhos mo po ang iyong biyaya, pour out your grace, pour out your enabling power so that we will be serving with joy, with love, and with faithfulness, Panginoon. We would like to give our all to you, Panginoon, because you are worthy, Lord God. So worthy, Lord God. You are worthy, Lord. And we praise you and we glorify you, Lord God. Worthy, worthy is the
have affirmed I lay it at your feet, Lord It's less than you deserve and Though I've led a strength And though my days are few You gave your life for me So I will live my life for you And like your spirit, your Father, right now, you speak to them, minister to them, Lord God, continuously, Lord God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the message. We thank you for your word, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the privilege, Lord God, and uh, for, for being called, Lord God, to serve, Panginoon. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon. And thank you, Lord God, for modeling, modeling how to serve, Panginoon. We praise you, Lord God. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, Destiny, let's say amen to that. Amen. Right now, I would like to take this opportunity as well. Probably, uh, this is your first time ngayon ka palang nakajoin sa amin or matagal ka na namin nakakasama. But you haven't made Jesus indeed the Master, the Lord and the Savior of your life. Right now, I would like, you, I would like to give this opportunity to you to pray a prayer of, of surrender to the Lord, making Him the Master Uh, the Savior and the Lord over your life. Okay? Uh, Destiny, sabayan nyo kami sa prayer. Nito. Let's pray aloud. And even sa mga kasama natin sa uh, Facebook at saka sa YouTube, if this is your first time or matagal ka namin nakakasama, but you would like uh, to make this surrender to the Lord that uh, may- making Him uh, the Savior, the Master over your life. Let's pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, today, today I, decide I decide to open the door of my heart to open the door of And I make you my master. And I, make you my master. I make you my Lord. I make you my, I make you my Savior. I make you my Savior. Right, now, Lord, right now, Lord, I want to turn away I want to turn from, away all my sins. from all my sins. And I want to follow you to follow all the days of my life. Of my life. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, for those people who pray that prayer, Panginoon, dalangin ko po, Panginoon, na mangusap ka sa kanila. Uh, hold their hands, lead them, Panginoon. Show yourself strong, Panginoon. Ipakita mo, Lord, ang iyong kabutihan, ang iyong kapangyarihan sa mga taong ito, Panginoon. Have your way. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' your name we pray. Come on, let's say amen to that. Amen, amen, amen. You're watching Destiny Church. If you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry, you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or log on to www.destinychurch.org.ph slash give.